Hi, so I will talk about implicants, prime implicants and the essential prime implicants. So first let us look at what are the literals. Literals are just the variables or the complement of that variable. So for example, A, A var, B, B var or maybe C or C var. All these are called literals. This is the same as the English letters. Okay. So if I want to calculate the literals in this equation, how many literals are there? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So there are 6 literals. So just count the number of variables. Now A and A bar, these are also called the variables. Now what are the implicants? Just look at the definition. And of one or more literals is called an implicant. For example, how many implicants are there in this equation? So this is one implicant. This is one implicant. Why? Because this is and of three literals. This is also implicant because this is and of two literals. So any term which is and of one or more literals. So this is and of one literal. So this will also called minter, sorry, implicant. So there are three implicant. Yes. Now, how many implicants are there in this first example? This one will give me and of three literals what it will give it will give me a bar b bar c bar so this is end of three three literals so i will call it implicant this will also give me end of three literals same this this so there are four implicant yes similarly there would be five implicants because each one is capable of giving a one implicant now after combining two ones or the two implicants then also I will get the one implicant but here I am looking at the maximum number of the implicant when I am looking at the K map I am just looking at the maximum number of implicants I can get yes I am not looking at the output of the K map or the minimized output okay I am just counting the number of implicants which I can get similarly there would be three implicants there would be five implicants fine now let us talk about prime implicants what are the prime implicants first of all prime implicants are the implicants okay so an implicant is called prime implicant with some condition now what is that condition if that implicant cannot be combined with any other implicant in the equation to form a new implicant with few literals just uh, look at the first example how many prime implicants are there so we saw this is implicant yes now i am questioning whether this is prime implicant now i will ask for the condition okay can i combine this implicant with any other implicant so that i can get new implicant with fewer literals now can i combine this literal or sorry this implicant with any other implicant no i cannot combine this implicant with any other implicant so this would be my prime implicant yes similarly this would also be prime implicant because i cannot combine this implicant with any other implicant similarly this would be pi similarly this would be pi so here i would be getting 4 pi now 
let us talk about this example how many prime implicants are there so we saw this is implicant yes now i am questioning whether this is prime implicant now the condition is can i combine this implicant with any other implicant yes i can combine this implicant with this implicant yes so this implicant would not be the prime implicant this single implicant okay by combining these two i would be getting a implicant for sure because i am combining two implicants now by after combining these two implicants would i get the prime implicant so for checking for checking this implicant whether this is prime implicant <clears throat> whether this is prime implicant or not i just saw can i combine this implicant with any other okay i can combine it with this implicant so this implicant is not prime implicant now after combining this and this would it be the prime implicant now again i will question can i further combine this combined implicant with another implicant so that i can get a implicant with fewer literals so this combined implicant cannot be combined further yes so this would be my prime implicant this one and this one so this would be my prime implicant okay let us look at this example this was my implicant is this prime implicant so i am questioning can i combine it with any other implicant yes i can combine this implicant with this so this single implicant is not prime implicant now after combining i got this big one okay now is this prime implicant now i will again ask can i combine this implicant with any other implicant so i cannot combine this implicant with this one or these ones okay so this would be my prime implicant yes now is this implicant my prime implicant no because i can combine this with this so after combining this red implicant which i got this red implicant is this prime implicant yes because i cannot further combine this red implicant with any other implicant yes so this is the biggest i would say so this is the minimite or this is the implicant with fewer literals fewer literal so this red one would also be the prime implicant there is also one more which one now just look at this implicant is this my is this my prime implicant no because i can combine this implicant with this one yes now is this big one is prime implicant yes because i cannot combine this further so this would be my prime implicant yes now there is one more let me first remove these and let me complete this okay there is also one more implicant prime implicant so this would also be the prime implicant yes because i cannot combine this implicant with any other implicant when i am saying that i cannot combine this implicant that means these two at once so there is no other 
implicant which can combine these two ones these two one in a whole big implicant so this would also be my prime implicant so there would be this 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 and this so there would be four prime implicant in this third example yes now let us talk about this fourth example so is this my prime implicant no because i can combine with this one yes now is this prime implicant yes because i cannot combine this implicant this big red one with any other implicant so that i can get few laterals so this would be my prime implicant similarly this would be the prime implicant because i cannot further combine similarly these ones would be the prime implicant and this one would be also be the prime implicant yes fine now let us talk about the essential prime implicants okay so let me again write this example One, 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 one. Now, what is essential prime implicant? First of all, essential prime implicants are the prime implicants with some condition. As we seen earlier, prime implicants are the implicants with some condition. Similarly, essential prime implicants are the prime implicants but with some condition. Condition is whether they are essential or not. now how to check whether these prime implicants which we got are essential or not now look at the definition or let me just explain you then i will read that definition now we saw that this is my prime implicant because i cannot further combine this implicant with any other implicant similarly this was also prime implicant and similarly this was also my prime implicant okay that is fine now i would be asking the question whether this first one prime implicant is essential prime implicant so now i will be questioning do i have any alternative for this prime implicant that means okay if you are questioning that whether this is essential or not then we will be just verifying whether i can get this functionality of this prime implicant by combination of any other prime implicants so there is no combination of prime implicants which can actually get the functionality of this uh prime implicant yes so this would be my essential prime implicant now okay let me take the second case then you would be like uh, relating it better so let me just remove this this okay so now this was my mm, yes this was my prime implicant now i am questioning now i am questioning whether this is my essential prime implicant now again i will be looking for the, for the verification of that condition whether i can combine or sorry whether i can get this functionality of this prime implicant with combination of any other prime implicants so there is a way or there is a combination by which i can get this functionality of prime implicants what are these combination combination are now 
if I take this prime implicant and this prime implicant then these two prime implicants combining these two prime implicant would be getting the functionality of this prime implicant yes so so what I'm saying these two prime implicants can get the functionality of this prime implicant so this prime implicant is not essential prime implicant because I have the combination which can do the job of this prime implicant that means it is not essential okay so we saw this first one was the essential prime implicant because no one can do the job of this prime implicant this second one is not essential prime implicant because the first and this let me say this is third and this is second and this is first so first and third combinedly can do the job of second prime implicant now check for this uh, third prime implicant whether this is essential prime implicant or not so again no one can do the job of this third prime implicant yes because this one cannot be combined by or the job of this one cannot be done by any other prime implicant so this would be my again essential prime implicant yes so there are two epis and there were three pi yes so this is the concept of essential prime implicant